Tutorial for Peak Scanner Click New and choose Project to start a new data analysis. Click Add File to choose the FSA files for analysis. Go to the first row under Size Standard, choose the standard used in the experiment. And then click Size Standard, choose Fill Down under Reddit button to fill in the sizes for all samples. Use the same method to define the analysis method. For example, sizing default NPP chosen here means no primer peaks for the samples that do not contain primers. Click Analyze All under the green triangle button to start analysis. In order to review more details of the results, you can deselect the dies not used in the assay. You can further adjust views. First. Select all samples by clicking Shift plus first row and Shift plus last row. And then click Edit Plot Settings. Sometimes the view for plot settings is hidden at the back of the screen. Update number of panes. For example, I choose 4 here. It will display four samples in a view, and print out four samples in one page. Click Scaling and Zooming. Zoom the view by changing x-axis settings. For example, I want to view the peaks in the range of 0 to 100 base pairs for this case. You can update project preferences for better print layout. Now you can print out the plots. I choose print to file, just for demo purpose. You can print out through printer directly. Now the most important step is exporting your data to CSV file for further quantitative analysis. Click Export button. Choose the format as CSV first, and then fill in the file name. Now review your data. Four samples in one page. Then what? Are you scared about so many rows of output data? Are you considering further analysis on your data, like filtering, annotation, grouping and quantification? No worry, get supports and solutions from FragmentAnalysis.com.